Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzwar Earn, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome all back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Sun. On the last episode, we have made our way to Po Town, but upon arriving, we were greeted with a nice little barricade and a couple of Team Skull members not wanting to let us through. So now, it is up to us to basically figure out a way in. Ooh, what is this? There's a Pokeball on this side. Ooh, Max Repel, nice. That, that'll definitely be handy. Uh, so that's what we're trying to do right now, is figure out a way into Po Town so that we can save this girl's young goose. So, with that in mind, let's get rocking rolling. Of course, guys, don't forget to leave a like if you guys enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Sun. And also, do not forget to answer the question of the day, which is, which Pokemon is the tallest Pokemon in the entire game? So, uh, let's see how many of you guys know the answer to that one. I was kind of surprised when I found out which one it was. All right, so, here we go. The repellent's effects wore off. Uh, I don't think we need repellent in here, do we? Hey there! How's it going, guys? Dude, are you hard-headed? Your skull must be rock! You shouldn't have come in here. Yo, now I'm going to make you regret it. Okay. Now, my other plan was to jump onto Taurus and just, like, ram the barricade. I was like, maybe that would work. I actually do want to try that out still and see if it'd work. Because that'd be pretty funny. All right. So here we are. Challenge. That should be in quotation marks. Because that our ch challenges with Team Skull have been far from it. I wouldn't call them challenges, that's for sure. All right, not getting cocky. I'm just being honest. We've only, I think, had like two battles where they actually gave us a run for our money. One of them was actually against Plumeria. So if we battle against her again, um, that would definitely be a challenge. So let's see. I'll go for Dizzy Punch. I think that might be a good choice here. Ooh, went for Sucker Punch, which didn't do all that much, luckily. Our Dizzy Punch, on the other hand, did very good damage. So we just need to hit one more of those, and that should get us the W here. Awesome. All right. So that challenge has been answered, I guess. Bye bye <laughs> We've defeated you, dude. Is his teammate going to fight us as well? That barricade made us soft. There's something to regret all night. Hey, yo, barricade or no, we ain't letting you go. Oh, okay. Yep, that's what I thought. I would have much rather battled them two versus one. That would have been easier. Well, not easier. It would have been actually a challenge, which would have been fun, because we would have had to think on our toes and, you know, actually plan ahead as to how we should be reacting. Ooh, he's got a Grimer. Probably a Lolan region. Yeah, love that. That's awesome. All right, Crab Brawler. Let's get to work. Trying to get you leveled up, after all. You're close to level 40, so we're doing good work. Uh, I think Crab Hammer will do just fine here. It's one of our most powerful moves. I think it has, like, base damage of, like, 90, so that's really great. Uh, his evasiveness has risen sharply, so I'd rather not use something that has 90% hit rate, because I think that's what Crab Hammer does, yeah. Uh, so let me just hit him with a power-up punch, then. And hopefully that does enough damage. Yep, cool. Awesome. Alright, there we are. Fantastic, that's another victory for us. That's right, so what are you gonna say now? What are you going to... Are you going to complain about the barricade again? We needed that barricade after all. Come on! Hold back a little! <laughs> That's funny. He's like, why didn't you just hold back? Uh, so I do want to test this out. My theory about just using a Taurus. That work. Yeah, it won't. It would have been hilarious if you could have made that work. Let's see if they let us use the Pokemon Center. Oh, they probably won't. Ready for fly rhymes in your ear, yo? But yo, what are you doing here, yo? Yo, it's darker than dark right up in here, yo. I'm getting scared like I met with a Fero. Ain't nobody around. I'm feeling kind of down. But I'm still holding it down here in Poe Town. Hey, yo. Spin it, Spinda. <laughs> spin it, Spinda. <laughs> That's what got me. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's genius. Uh, so listen up, intruder. She wants money, but it always eludes her. Team Skull represent. We can't pay the rent. Wait, what? You shouldn't be proud about that. Had a lot of fun, but our youth was misspent. This Pokemon Center is where we cower, but we can't pay bills. We got no power. Uh, if you give us 10 Poké Dollars, we will help you out by healing your team before your next bout. Um, sounds good, yo. Can you heal my team now? I knew we could count on you, yo. Thanks to you, we can make do, yo. No problem. Hopefully that helps you guys. 
Maybe you guys can drop a mixtape or something. Good luck. Cash makes us perky, so even though you were a bit jerky, I'll heal up your team so you can do worky. <laughs> yeah, that's not a word, but okay. That's enough, Grunt. Back into your ball. Okay. That guy's just uh, doing some heavy lifting there. All right, so let's see what the rest of Poe Town has to offer. Can we go into this house? Nope. That door's barricaded, I guess. I feel like we're like the walking dead. Everything is abandoned. What's going on here? Can't go in here. Uh, can't go in here. Okay, so I'm guessing that none of the houses are like accessible per se. Right? I hope so at least, because otherwise I'd feel like I missed something. Oh, wait. There's some team skull members in that house. The one on the right here. I think that's a double battle, actually. Hey, what's up? Oh, here we go. Yes, it is. I stuck up to the one next to me. Wait, stand up, probably, right? I'm just as good as the woman next to me. Okay. I, I, I didn't say anything. I don't know why you have to be so aggressive about it, but sure. Let's see. What do you got to offer? Dude, they do look kind of cool, like with the blue and the pink silhouettes on the sides. Like that neon pink and neon blue. I do like that. All right, so they got a Raticate and a Golbat, which is a pretty good combination. Um, I think we will counter that with a Kadabra and a Crab Brawler. So, again, not a bad combination either. Uh, a Psycho Cut to Golbat should do very, very well. Um, so, let's go for it then. And then... Oh, man. I don't know if that will be enough to knock him out, though. You know what? I'll power up punch the Golbat as well. Because I'm hopeful that those two moves will knock out the Golbat. Oh, that is not good. Yikes. Are you serious? One shot? Like, what is wrong with our Kadabra? Why is it so weak? I don't understand. It's insane. It's really, really bizarre. Like, we take... Like, that was a leech? Bite or what was it? Like I, I better have been like a dark type move, because otherwise that is ridiculous. That is insane that we got absolutely shrekt like that. All right, I'm gonna trade into Lady N here, so we can get it, uh, get her leveled up to level 40. Let's go for Brick Break, and onto Radicate, and then a Power Up Punch onto Radicate as well. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that because the Brick Break might be enough. Ooh, it wasn't. Good thing I went for it, then. Alright, mean Luke. That's fair. Uh, power punch. Awesome. Alright, so the Radicate didn't even get a chance to attack, which is great. That means we avoided some damage. Crab Brawler has leveled up to level 39. That is awesome. Very cool. And let's see what we can do here. Um, I guess we'll go for Swift. That's like our best chance. And... Payback? Sure. Here we go. I wonder if this will do enough. Nope, it won't. Oh, it wasn't Poison Fang that hit us, right? Or maybe it was Poison Fang. Whatever it was. No, it was something with Leech because uh, that's how they recovered their health. Yikes, though. Look at that. That was good. That payback hit home. That was good. We did a lot of damage there. Look at that. 40. Level 40 for Ladian. And Crab Brawler gained a bunch of experience as well. Brilliant. That was a great team fight. Like, that's why you do want to participate in these fights, because you end up getting a lot of experience. So it's a nice way, like, if you're not going to go out of your way to train up your Pokemon, which is something I'm trying to avoid, not because, like, I don't want to do it, because I don't want my Pokemon to be, like, way too powerful. I'm trying to make sure that there's, like, an actual challenge to this whole thing. Um, where's Antidote? There it is. Um, so because of that, I'm being, like, careful about just how often we train. But I definitely want to participate in all the trainer battles. Because that allows us to continuously make sure that our Pokemon are leveling up. Uh, not really much to do there. So let's just climb through this. And then we go back here, because we know how to get through now. Alright, excellent. So we have this car in the way. Hello? What do you want to battle? Let's go, dude. One, two, hit, three sandbags. Four, five, we're Rassic calls. 
Is he trying to say rascals? Ay ay ay. Ay 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 ay. Some of them are good. Some of them are really bad. <laughs> Some of them are just like, like the spindle one. That was a great one. That was a great rhyme. I love that one. This one, on the other hand, ugh, it needs some work. It needs some, it, well, not some. It, it just needs to not be used. I'm just being honest. Ooh, okay. I'm kind of surprised they use a Liligant. You know, like, you'd never assume that the Team Skull, or sorry, a Fomantis, sorry, not Liligant. What am I talking about? Uh, a Fomantis, because, I don't know, you just feel like they wouldn't use such a cutesy-looking Pokemon. You'd be like, yeah, we gotta use something much more, like, tough-looking, you know? But it's pretty cool. Whoa, now it looks terrifying when it sprung its roots like that. Looks like some sort of a monster from Stranger Things. Uh, all right, let's go for payback. See if this hits home. Nice, okay, good. We did enough damage there to get the victory. Oh, wait, he has another Pokemon, doesn't he? Salandit, okay, that's good. We got Crab Hammer. Then I'll take care of the fire type Salandit. Uh, let's go, Crab Hammer. As long as we don't miss it. Boom! I didn't jinx it. So we got the job done with one shot. Brilliant. Alright, that was a pretty easy battle, all things considered. The first Pokemon gave us a little bit of trouble, but all in all, not bad. Alright, so, let me see here. Uh, we once again have to figure out a way through, probably. Moves like Horn Drill and Guillotine basically never hit when you want them to. That's it. I'm done with taking gambles. I'll kick this habit once and for all. You can put your money on me. Oh, how ironic. How ironic. All right, so this is where we're supposed to go. There's another trainer. I love how startled they act. Like, they just j jump at you like, oh, you startled me. It's like, you're the one that startled me. I was just walking. You're the one that just, like, suddenly jumps and like, hey, you have to battle me. All right, let's see what you got to offer. One Pokemon. Hopefully Crab Hammer can get the W here relatively quickly. Wimp Pod? That's awesome looking. That's a cool looking Pokemon. I don't think we've battled that one before, so that is fantastic. All right. Um, something tells me that Power Up Punch will do fine. Okay, that wasn't very good, actually. That did not do nearly as much damage as I had hoped it would. Luckily, she didn't do much damage to us either, so that's good. Um, I wonder how effective Crab Hammer would be. Ooh, very effective. Well, it said it's not very effective, but it got the job done, so that's all that matters. Of course, we do have a quite a big level lead, but still, that was awesome. We were able to get to victory. How glorious. What is this, a Splatoon reference? Is this a Splatoon reference right here? Were the Ink kids over here? I know. Hey, that reminds me. Whatever happened to that guy who was always calling people numbskulls or whatever? I don't know. Why are you asking me? I have no idea. Uh, alright. So she's just hanging out with her Grimer out in the rain. Ooh, hello, dude. What is wrong with him? Doesn't he see that we're getting invaded here? I'm not sure what he's talking about either. Interesting. What's over on this side? Oh, wait. Here we go. Nice. We got a Zygrade cube. Brilliant. Hey there. I'm a straight shooter. Straight and simple as an arrow. Cool. Yep. That was very straight and simple, I guess, right? Not much. Not much said. All right. Well, we're at the main mansion, which I'm guessing is where our main battles will occur. So here we go. I'm an incumbent. <laughs> oh my gosh, it said incomplete grunt, but I thought he said incompetent grunt. I'm like, this guy is so self-aware. I love him. Oh, that would have been such a better line if he was just like, I am an incompetent grunt, but I'm still going to do my all. He'll be like, you know what, dude? That's a great attitude. All right, let's see what you got. A Zubat? Well, we got our crab brawler here ready to take you on. And we are going to rely on our payback maneuver as our main source of damage against this Zuban. I think we might be able to KO it in one shot. Oh, nope, not quite. All right, he's going to use Mean Look, which is a good choice considering he's got uh, three Pokemon. Maybe he doesn't want our ourselves to switch out from Crab Brawler. So, makes sense. Maybe he's confident about his other two choices. I guess time will tell here. 
All right, he's going into a ghastly. Uh, we'll keep battling. Obviously, we have to. We were mean looked at that point. I wonder if it. Hmm. Does mean look deactivate when that Pokemon is defeated? I've never actually found that out. But luckily, we have a nice dark type attack right there that does a lot of damage to the ghastly. And let's see what his final choice is. A Salandit. Perfect. We got a Crab Hammer, so that will be great to help us with that. All right. Crab Brawler. Hit him with a Crab Hammer. It's Crab Hammer time! There we go. Good night. Can't touch this. All right. Very nicely done. Almost level 40, by the way. So we almost got uh, Crab Brawler caught up to the rest of the team. All I'm going to need to do after that is get uh, Kadabra caught up. Um, okay, interesting. So there's a couple of rooms. Ooh, we can actually enter the rooms. Didn't expect that. I hear that Mr. Guzma never got a Z-Ring as a uh, sort of handicap, because he's too strong already. Oh, here we go. He wants to battle. So sorry, as a stranger, you get full a full course of my Pokemon's moves. Okay. Well, we'll see. Maybe you won't get a chance to use all your moves, because, well, our Crab Brawler will be able to finish all your Pokemon before that. Oh, you only have one Pokemon. All right, what do you got? Haunter? Yeah, uh, this is not. This is probably a one-shot kind of battle because we're just going to use Payback. And I think we will get the victory as a result. Ah, uh, we only have four left though, so that's not great. Shadow Ball? Is that going to hurt? Ooh, wow, that really hurt. But we better win this right now. Nice. Ooh, that was close. I'm going to need to use a Hyper Potion after this fight. Nice! Crab Brawler has now hit level 40. Brilliant. Love it. Awesome. Very, very cool. Wishy Washy is now level 43, by the way. Wait, is Wishy Washy now a higher level than Incineroar? I think... Let me double check, actually. Yep. That's crazy. I guess Wishy Washy just levels up faster or something, because... That is crazy. I don't feel like I've played Wishy Washy more often in Incineroar. Maybe I have, though, like in the training process or something like that. Uh, but speaking of Incineroar, I will switch into Incineroar now as our primary attacker. Uh, there we go. And try to get Incineroar up to like maybe level 45 or so before we carry on. All right, so you let us know some stuff about Mr. Guzma again. I just want to take a look around before we continue. Oh, here we go. Another battle. I'll stop you so Guzma will stay chill. <laughs> Is that like his presentations? Like when he gives some presentations to Team Skull, he's like, listen, I like to stay chill. Make sure I stay chill. And they're like, yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes. All right, what do you got? Mariani. Oh, yeah, we battled one of these before. Not too long ago. I think this was actually in this episode earlier, right? I think we battled it the first time just out uh, outside of Poe Town. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess we could go for Thrash. Let's go, Incineroar. Oh, really? Uh, oh, please don't get poisoned. Nice. At least you didn't get poisoned. Love it. That was that must have been like one or two health points left. That's crazy. Cinderor is about to level up to 43, by the way, so he's not far behind uh, Wishy Washy. Okay, let's see. Can we access these rooms? We can. Hey there, dude. What's up? Taking a nap. Ooh, Max Revive. That's brilliant. Because it's like a re uh, revive, but it actually heals your Pokemon all the way up, so it's really, really good. That can definitely save you, especially in a situation like against the Elite Four or something. That would be pretty cool. Uh, this month's secret Team Skull password is beat up. Okay. <laughs> I love that that's their password. Like, they just change it to, like, different statements like that. That would be pretty hilarious. Um, all right. There was another door, actually, at the back of this room. So I want to check where that leads before we head upstairs. Oh, okay. So that's actually that little gap that we couldn't access. What is this? This month's secret Team Skull password is Tapu Kokoa. Uh, remember, a true Team Skull member always butt heads. Sorry, butts heads. And answers with a hearty no. Okay. So we had Tapu Kokoa and Beat Up, right? Those were the two things we have found out so far. 
That was very clever. They were like, hey, you know about Tapu Coco? Why don't we make it Tapu Coco? But like as in like the drink. Spell it with an A at the end. Brilliant, right guys? Right, right? And everyone's like, yep, Guzma, it's very clever. Or Gozma. All right, let's see. This mansion really is a mansion. So many rooms and so many corridors and everything. Ooh, sludge bomb. Oh, that's a really good move. That could really help out. Whoops, I did not even want to save yet. Um, Let's see. I want to see if anyone can learn it. Nope. That stinks. Would have been nice if someone could have learned it on the team. Because sludge bomb is pretty useful. Um, I guess we will just back out then. Any point in resting? There are slightly faded Pokemon dolls sitting on top of the bed. Okay. Uh, what is this? Hey! OMG! Please don't tell me that's my skull tank you're wearing. Oh, no wonder it stinks. It is the same design, though. Um... Uh, it does not stink. That's a lovely aroma. Anyway, we should write our names on them so we don't mix them up. Mm, hello, our names are all grunt. What's the point? <laughs> I love that. I love that they're self-aware. Like, self-aware humor is awesome. Uh, hey, you guys want to battle? Uh, oh, a boy. I can't believe he was eavesdropping on us. I guess we'll have to teach him a lesson. Uh, I'm guessing that involves a dual battle, possibly. Are we battling both of them? Two versus two? That sounds like a pretty good battle. Nope, one at a time. All right. So we're going to battle her, and then I guarantee the other one's going to be like, Hey, how dare you defeat my teammate? And we'll be like, well, because that's... You actually attacked us first, so... Yeah, I don't know. We just kind of fought back, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let's go for Fire Fang. I really need to get rid of Lick. I'm realizing, like, it's such a weird... Like, so weird that we still have that move. It's just that it's a ghost-type move, so it's, like, really effective oftentimes. Uh, so that's why I've kept it as long as I have. But we probably should get rid of it sooner rather than later. All right, there we go. We were victorious. And we also got Incineroar leveled up to level 43, which is also great. How oh, embarrassing. I guess I really am just a grunt. Whoa, that was like so uncool. I'll get revenge for you while still wearing your skull tank. There we go. What a shocker. It's almost like I called it. I said that she was going to battle us as well. All right, let's see what you have to offer. Probably, let me guess, uh, maybe a Golbat or a Zubat. Eradicate, okay. They have the, uh, uh, she's got a Rattata and she's got a Eradicate. Same evolution line, huh? All right, here we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I wonder if Thrash will do enough. Let's see. It is a pretty strong move. Ooh, not quite. Ooh, he hit us with crunch. Dang, for something that's supposed to be not very effective, that did a pretty good amount of damage. Especially considering we're, there's an 8 level difference between us. That did very, very good damage, I have to say. Not too shabby. Alright. So, let's see. What's next? What, what's your excuse now? Her skull tank was too tight for me. It was so distracting that I lost. It's all her fault. <laughs> Yeah, the t-shirt was so tight. It was like cutting off all the oxygen to your head, I guess, or something that you couldn't concentrate. All right, let's see. I bet you that Skull Grunt wants to battle us. This one does too. I'm sure of that. But I'm just taking this as an opportunity to get our Pokemon leveled up, so I don't mind battling all these guys. We probably could obviously skip some of these rooms, not check every single one, but we would be missing out on some items. We've got a pretty cool TM already, so I'm happy with that. And there's another item in this room, so we'll see what's in here. Alright, so he goes for Foam Mantis, which means that we're probably obviously going to go for Fire Fang here as our move of choice. Let's go for it. I bet you that should be a one hit, right? Nice. Awesome. Good work, Incineroar. And not too much experience, but that makes sense. There's an eight level difference between us, so... And the typing wasn't great either, so... Let's see, what do we have here? Iron! Cool! That is actually really awesome, because we can use that to... What is it? Boost defense, I think, or something like that? There's another note, by the way. Uh, Golly Sopod. 
Okay, what is the actual password? They've got like three passwords already. Or they just have different passwords laid out around the entire house. I'm not sure. Here we go. Hello. Let's go. Let's see what you got to offer. One Pokemon again? Ooh, two. Okay. Let's see what you got then. Wimpod. That is an interesting Pokemon for sure. Because I'm really not sure what it's typing as yet. It's a new Pokemon, so I'm not too sure about it. I guess maybe Bug and Metal or something like that. Um, Fire Fang is effective, so let's go for it then. It's level 34, so I think it'll be one hit. Yep. Very nice. Even though it wasn't super effective, still did enough damage there. And he's going to go into a Drowsy. Okay, cool. We're going to stick with Incineroar, because as I said, we're trying to get Incineroar to like level 45. And then I'm going to get the rest of the team caught up to that point. Uh, Darkest Lariat. I love that move. It's so cool. I mean, it's a wrestling move in a Pokemon game. How cool is that? Boom! Very cool. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Victorious. Oh, so very glorious. So, with that battle out of the way... There is... Do you want to battle as well? Greetings, visitor. If you wish to meet Mr. Gozma, then give the three secret passwords. Okay. Uh, this month's first password. Like the best. Beat up. We know these. Uh, Golly Sopod. Uh, Tapu Kokoa. Yay! There we go. Are you sure about that? Yes, absolutely. I'm sure about that. You think I'm that thick skulled? Get out of here. Go home. What? It's not enough just to get the secret passwords right, you numbskull. If you're serious about meeting Mr. Guzma, then you should know how Team Skull works. Look around this mansion and see what you can learn about our great organization. Really? Like, are you serious, dude? What do I learn all those passwords for, bro? Uh, beat up. This. Will you let us in now, or is he just tricking us again? Yes, I am sure about that. Okay, so that was just a trick. Great. Uh, I can't get through these boxes, so I'm not really sure how, what I'm supposed to do there. I can't also go this way. And I feel like we've explored everything that there was, unless if there's something in this room. Maybe there's something on the computer? In the books? Uh... I am really not sure as to what we've missed. I feel like we've done everything we should have. Right? Um. Hmm. This is really strange. I'm not too sure what we've missed. I feel like we've been very thorough. And haven't really skipped anything. So I'm sort of confused as to why he's not letting us through. We can't go through here. Can I summon a ride Pokemon in here, maybe? Smash through that. Nope. <laughs> Can't do that either. Um, let me take a look down here, maybe. Must have been something we've missed downstairs then, right? Because I just don't think we've missed anything else elsewhere. Let's go through here. Uh, we've battled you. Have I talked to you? I'm not sure if we did talk to him, but now we have. There's something back here maybe we missed. I don't think so. Alright, that's where we got that password there. Nothing here. Huh, this is so strange. What does he expect us to do? I don't understand. Keeps telling us that we missed something to learn about Team Skull. I feel like, again, we covered everything that we could have. So, what's up? What's his problem, dude? Have we talked to you? I think we have. Oh, this was an area that we haven't visited at all. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So maybe this is what they were talking about. Let's see. Hello. What is wrong with him? Does he know? What, what? Oh, that's the other grunt. Remember we saw him outside? Those two guys are pretty funny. Alright. I honestly don't know what he wants from us. Because we've done everything... There is to do. 
Oh wait, maybe that's sleeping grunt? Maybe we're supposed to like wake him up somehow or something? Uh, Pokemon fur clinging to the she sheets. That's terrifying. Uh, can't really talk to him. I'll double check this room again, but... I already saw this. Okay, I'm going to go upstairs again and talk to him once more because... I'm really uncertain as to what we have missed. Did we go in this room? Oh, yes, we have. Sorry. How could I forget? We were just there a second ago. Okay. Let's work our way back up. Have another quick talk with him. I'd love to go over there, but again, there's just no way to do so. Because there's this chandelier right here. Is there a way to move this thing, maybe? I don't know. If there is, maybe that's our way up. But I just don't know how to do that. And then there are these boxes here, so can't go past those. Let's see, greetings, visitor. If you wish to meet... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're well aware of that. Beat up. Uh, Galisapod. And... Tapu Kokwa. Yep. What does he want us to do, man? Great organization. I mean, I feel like we've done everything you we possibly could. Uh, I am so confused, man. Seriously, dude. That is so bizarre. Well, I think we're going to have to wrap up our episode because... I honestly just don't know what else we could do right at this very moment. Uh, I don't think that there's a way for me to walk back here. It seems to be barricaded off. Can't go that way either. I mean, I guess we could squeeze through here, but that doesn't really give us anything, so... No really point there, so... Uh, I guess we're gonna have to end our episode here, guys. Uh, we have made our way through the mansion, and I think that we've been very thorough about exploring it, but for some reason, um, that fellow upstairs does not agree. He says that we gotta walk around here and learn more about all the Team Skull stuff. I would love to learn more. Uh, they haven't given us the opportunity to do so, so... Um... For a fire-type Pokémon rather than firewood. That's terrifying. Uh, so I'm not really sure what exactly they want us to do. Uh, I will try to figure that out in between uh, recordings for sure. Just so that we can actually uh, obviously progress and figure out where we're supposed to be headed. Uh, so thank you guys so very much for watching. Of course, I hope that you guys enjoyed the episode. And I do certainly hope to see each and every single one of you lovely, lovely folks here on the next one. Peace out. See you later. Alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.